Good evening, Lexbots. Around Halloween, things are not always as they seem. I actually spent pretty much all of last night creating my wall in my picture frames. As always, all the products they use, they really said somewhere around the video. And don't forget to go to Facebook and check out my page, Made You Look by Lex, and like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. This tutorial is super easy and super effective for people in haunted houses or just people that like to scare their trick-or-treaters or just like to be a portrait outside their house. I'm starting off by applying a light tan body paint all over my face, neck, and chest. Now, if you guys are darker skinned, you could always go with the darker colors first. I'm then going in with a light brown paradise paint and the Made You Look Foundation brush and putting in my contouring, but making sure that I'm leaving as streaky as if it were an oil painting. For me, I'm contouring underneath my cheekbones around my face and also leaving one side of my forehead darker than the other side as if the light source is only coming from one side. I'm also adding it around my nose and underneath my brow bone. For my neck and chest, I'm then going around my collarbone as well as around my little neck tendons that stick out. Also, do not forget to paint your ears. If you have normal ears and paint it everywhere else, it'll look weird. I'm then going in with the dark brown paradise paint and pretty much going over the areas that I just contoured. I'm kind of making it a little bit more patchy just in certain areas. Taking that same brown paradise paint and a little bit of black paradise paint, I mix them together to make a very dark brown and I'm then going on the inside of my ears in just small patches in certain spots. This gives it a little bit more of a painting type of effect. Throughout this whole process, you can constantly add contouring and highlighting and just layer the different effects. Taking the Made You Look eyeshadow brush and extremely light tan body paint, I'm then just creating a light source on my forehead as well as over one of my eyebrows and on my nose. I'm also highlighting my collarbone, parts of my shoulder, and parts of my neck. To give it a little bit of an older feel, I'm also using Dijon Paradise Paint as a highlight color as well. At any point, you can go in and add dark brown paradise paint to any areas that you see may need a little bit more contouring. For my eyebrows, I'm filling them in thicker and a little bit more messy, and I'm using dark brown paradise paint in the Made You Look Angled brush. I'm then applying light pink body paint and shading my lips with the Mehron Blush Palette. Also, don't forget to give your lips a little bit of shine using white body paint. For a little bit of extra shading and a little bit of softness, I'm then going in with brown eyeshadow and just adding some soft contouring areas. If you'd like to line your eyes, I'm using a Whiskey Urban Decay Eyeliner. To complete your body, outline your entire body in streaky dark brown body paint. For my clothing, I wanted to go a little bit more old time and I'm using the Graftobian Pro Paint in white and just creating some ruffles. I'm then creating my top using dark brown paradise paint and I'm just making it more of a shawl. To give some of the wrinkly, streaky, painted effects, I'm then going in with an even darker brown body paint and just adding those streaks. I'm then going in and outlining my clothing, separating it from my body using black Graftobian Pro Paint and also adding a little bit more streaks within the clothing itself. center ruffles and then highlighting it with Dijon Paradise paint as well as a little bit of the light brown body paint. Outline all of your clothing using a very light brown body paint and the Made You Look Blending brush. I want to go ahead and add a little bit of zombie effect to one side of your face. I'm then using a lime green MAC chroma cake. All over. 